In this workshop near the small town of Monterey, Gray Zeitz minds his P's and Q's. I guess it uh, uh, helps if you're a little dyslexic, because yeah, everything is backwards. You know? He spends hours almost every day placing metal type into rows, forming words one letter at a time that become sentences, then paragraphs, then chapters. I've done it so long, sometimes when I'm writing, I have to stop and think which way a D and a B goes, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. This would is the inking disc. For 45 years, he's operated Larkspur Press, a place that prints books the old-fashioned way. The press that I'm using right now was made in 1916. Uh, uh, setting type goes all the way back to Gutenberg. Life is definitely slower here. Yeah, people come in and they say, oh, I could never do this. You have to be patient and particular. You can't feel pressure that you have to, that you are forced to work fast. That, that only makes you uh, have mistakes. Larkspur puts out just two or three books a year, mostly poetry and short fiction by Kentucky authors. The books are printed on handmade paper that almost feels like fabric. Well, they have the work of the hand with it. That really just says it there. You know, it, you can tell that it was handmade. Zeit says he doesn't know of another press in the country that does what he does, which is turn out handmade editions of 300 to 600 copies that are affordable. Most cost from 20 to $40. Other hand presses only do large special editions that can cost hundreds of dollars. I print letterpress because I enjoy it and because I think it looks better. The press is the only motorized thing in here, and when Zeitz is feeding pages by hand, it's the only part of the process that has a steady pace. It's a dance. It's just a dance. Right now, Zeitz says he's about two years behind in his work. He may never catch up, and that's just fine with him. I enjoy it. I enjoy every part of it. There's a lot to be said about having a job that you truly enjoy. In Owen County, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.